Hi everyone, my name is Zanarek Bell. I'm a fifth year PhD student in cognitive science at UC Merced. I work with Dr. Christina Backer, Dr. Michael Stivey, and Dr. Tony Sheen on understanding bilingualism. Specifically, how do various factors such as attention or noisy environments impact bilinguals' phonetic perception? Or how do they hear speech sounds? And how does that impact their greater language perception? So today I'm going to be sharing a project I've been working on looking at bilinguals experiencing something called the phonemic restoration effect. You might be wondering what that is. So I'm going to play an example. Um, in this example, there's actually a speech sound that's missing in a word, and you just try to figure out which one it is. The state governors met with their respective legislatures <laughs> convening in the capital city. The state governors met with their respective legislatures <laughs> convening in the capital city. The state governors... So actually, in that example, the S in legislatures was missing. Um, but you can't really hear it because there's a cough placed on top, but you fill it in, which is interesting. Another example. Possessive. Play that again. Possessive. So that was our possessive, but the S in the middle is missing, and there's some noise placed on top, but you're able to fill in. This is called the phonemic restoration effect. Um, it is impacted by top-down effects, so um, paying more attention, having expectations, these all facilitate it. Um, and also when there's more similarity with the noise that's placed on top with the phoneme removed, it also facilitates it. Um, so it's been found when we look at the brain, um, when speech is perceived as continuous, so when you experience the illusion, we see that this um, primary auditory response is actually reduced. So it looks smaller, the brain wave. Um, and we also see something called a reduction in theta band phase locking and power. Um, so that's just basically like the frequencies of our brain signal. So I'm wondering how would bilinguals perform in contacts with and without that top down information? So having attention and how would they do in a word condition versus a pseudo word condition looking at the effect? And how do bilinguals' data activity compare to monolinguals um, when they experience the illusion? So this looks really complicated, but this is kind of what we look at when we want to look at something called like phase locking. Um, and the takeaway here is that there are differences. Um, I will obviously go into detail about this more um, at the symposium, but the main takeaway here is that we're seeing some key differences in the word condition versus pseudo word conditions for bilinguals versus monolinguals. And we also see in the active condition a lot more activity you can see compared to the passive condition, which has a lot less going on. I'm really excited to talk more about this during um, during the symposium, and I can't wait to meet you all and share my research. Thank you so much.